Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. Right, I wanted a spader. This is the only one that I can afford. I have 39,000. So we will buy that bad boy right there. I mean, I could go and take out a loan. I could just go and do that, but I don't want to do that at the moment. So I will jump over here to this one and we'll have a look at this spader thing. Never seen one of these before. Never used one, never seen one, didn't even know these things existed. So this, this one's quite cool. What on earth is... It looks like a rotavator. It looks like a really oversized rotavator. Look at that thing. That is vicious. You, you wouldn't want to get... You wouldn't want to fall on the ground in front of that thing. That would chew anything up. Tell you what, if you've got a body that you want to hide, if, if you've got a body that you want to get rid of, that is, that is the machine that you need to use to do it. That is cool. Let's get this back to the farm. You know it's starting to get late. I think we should go to sleep for the night. This thing is an absolute monster of a machine. So we'll use this one on that field that has been mulched. And... I'm also going to want to use a stone picker. I'm going to get a stone picker because I'm curious about this whole issue with not being able to tip stones into trailers. And that's something that I wanted to have a look at, actually. Uh, stone picker right there. Right, that's specific, that has got the symbol for rocks on it right there. See? And then if you go into the trailers, though, we don't have that symbol here anywhere. It's not on any of these vehicles. No trailer has got a symbol for rocks on it. Which is weird. There is not one single one that has got a symbol for carrying rock. Now, the front loader tool over here. The universal bucket also doesn't have that. So I'm wondering... Oh, by the way, that one. Uh, yeah, cut sugar beet. It's, it's for cutting up sugar beet. Uh, that one right there, you put the sugar beet into it, and then you use it, and it turns it into cut sugar beet, which you can get more money for. And, right, but we're not here to do that. There's loads of different... Cool. Bail grabs. you got a lot of options here for various different bail grabs and so on. I didn't realize we had quite so many. That, that is actually really cool. And... So you got the front loader telehandler here, same bucket right there. It doesn't have a symbol for stone. So we could tip the stuff out on the ground, but I don't know if we can do anything else with it. So we're going to find that out in the morning. Let's go over here. The great thing about this is that you can skip as many days as you want to. At uh, the moment, we have got season set onto one day per season. Uh, we'll... we'll We'll, 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 we'll leave it on one day per season. Right. We will at the moment. So I'm going to um, sleep until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Does this. This is the one thing that I don't like about it. It used to, when you slept the night, give you an aerial view of the farm so you could see things happening overnight. It doesn't do that anymore. It now does it like that. We've got weeds come up, which we're going to need to deal with. And it is rainering. Now, if we go into here, we can see what the forecast is. Apparently, the forecast is reasonable weather is going to turn up. So, I don't know when this reasonable weather is going to turn up. But the other thing that I would like to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go there. We're going to go to construction. We're going to go to tools over here. And if I click on that, oh, 4,200. A weather station improves the weather forecast available to your farm. So I don't know if it gives you more forecast or if it just sort of basically does it a little bit better. Now, if I go to my finances over here, doesn't tell me how much I can borrow, but I'm going to borrow 100,000 just like that. And then I'm going to go back into the construction and we go to tools. And we're going to get the weather vane thing. So this overlaps with another object at the moment. How does that... This, there is no object there! What's wrong with you? I can put it out here. I don't want to put it out there. I want to put it near my house. Let's put it back here. 
Right, I've got a weather vane back there, and don't really want anything else here at the moment. That one right there is a Stevie mod, Lime Station, I believe, unless his was a different one. It doesn't say mod on it. That's his as well, I'm sure of it. Yes. His placeables don't appear to have supplementary water tank. This supplementary water tank helps you to supply a greenhouse with water. Must be placed near greenhouses. Okay, that's very cool, actually. That lime station, I'm pretty sure, is a Stevie one. It allows you to buy anything you want from it. And then there was another station as well that you could do some stuff with. So this one here... If I put it there, it's blocking entrance into the barn. So we're going to put this one over here. Let's... Uh, we need to rotate it around like that. Right there. This is not just a lime station, by the way. But weirdly, it doesn't show up that it's a Stevie mod. And also... We can alter the height of the mod when you're placing it. Which is something that I don't like. So for something like this, I want to be able to place that further down into the ground. And I can't do that. Although it does that. Uh, so then I want to go to landscaping here a little bit. And if I go on to this one... I can still soften things. I can't soften it right up to the actual silo itself. So I'm still a little bit limited on what I can do with this. Overall, the tools are pretty good. But there are still some limitations. So there, I can't lower that down anywhere on the actual silo itself. Which is a little bit disappointing. So I can sort of soften this out a bit round here. And then if we go in here, we'll run over and have a look and just take a look. at. We're going to get to that spader. Don't worry, we will get to the spader. I haven't forgotten about that one. But I wanted to go and have a look at this. So we've got these bits here sticking up. Because part of this is the actual mod, we can't alter that. We can't do any adjustments. So I'm hoping that there will be some mods released that will allow us to make necessary adjustments to like bury the concrete feet in the ground, that kind of thing, and just make alterations in closer to the stuff that we place down. Because at the moment, that's not an option. I don't like that aspect of the landscaping. Generally, though, the landscaping is pretty good. Now... That one's finished. Now let that one go for a second. And I want to go to this one. Spader. Now, I've already gone and cultivated that field over there. We'll start this spader working over here on this field. This thing looks so savage, doesn't it? It really does. It looks absolutely savage, this beast of a machine here. Let's bring this one in. It looks really cool. Okay, and back that one up a little bit like that. And start that up. Right down into the ground as well. It's just a giant rotivator. That's what this is. Alright, I'm just going to press H. I'm going to let the hired help carry on and do that for us so that we can take a better look in the machine while it's running. Look at that thing. You can have the map as well like this and then the map kind of rotates, the mini map it kind of rotates around or you can so you got the big map, the mini map there will rotate so that you're always facing north on the, you're not, so that you're always facing up on the map. And the map will rotate round you as you go. This one, the map is always oriented north-south so that you can, if that's an easier way for you to sort of figure out which way round you want to be. Um, and then you've got the big map right there that you can check everything or you can turn the map off altogether. So you've got a couple of different options for the map. 
love the sounds now in the game. Like they really have worked hard to get the sounds absolutely perfect on this. Look at that thing. It looks like it's something from Back to the Future. Seriously, it's a monster machine. Oh, it's currently raining at the moment. Just admiring this monster machine going along. Look at it. How cool is that? Uh, if we go and have a look in here. We're apparently, we've got a better forecast now. It's going to rain through October, November. Am I on November the 1st, November the 16th? Am I on two days per season? Genuinely don't know at this point. I am on two days per month. Ah, right. Okay, I didn't realise I was on two days per month, but I am on two days per month. Unless I changed it in another game and it stayed with this one. Don't know. I don't... It doesn't matter. Right. You keep going there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this tractor with the mulcher and I'm going to move it off out of the way of the spader. He does need a bit of room for turning that one round. I was going to do some planting. I think we will actually get started on some of the planting as well. So let's stick our little tiny mulcher here. We'll put that one away. Thinking we'll probably sell the mulcher. And we'll buy a slightly bigger one for next time round. So you can go in there. And then we'll go and get the seed drill hooked on. And I was going to plant barley up in this field. So I can plant wheat or barley or canola at the moment. I have options for planting those. I'm going to be wanting to plant sorghum as well. That one we don't plant until the spring. So one of these fields is going to be sorghum. One of them is going to be wheat. Uh, one of them's barley. One of them's sorghum. And I don't really know what I'm going to plant in the other field. I have not yet decided. These are exciting times. So, there was something that I wanted to find out on this one. We're going to first change that seed. There we go. So, we've got barley on this one. And I'm going to just hired help my way across here. I prefer to use the hired help for everything. And something that I really do like about this version of the game is that hired help does actually use quite a bit more money than it used to. And personally, I think that's a good thing. I, I really do. I think that is actually a really good thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this one. Actually, I'm not going to send it up there because he's going to interfere with the other tractor working. So if I come down this way, maybe we can ignore each other for a bit. What I wanted to find out was will this seed drill overlap very well? So let's just start that one up. And then because the, the bit that I was talking about previously was that front bit would dig up the seed and then the back bit would put the seed back down again so you couldn't overlap seed you had to just have an open line to the end of the field this one doesn't seem to do that there doesn't seem to be any sign of that happening which is good i like that that's that's actually really really awesome and you over here a busy spadering going to need a lot of room for turning around which means that planting is going to get in the way of him there isn't it that's going to end up causing problems that's all right and also if we take a look in here now and we go to soil composition and move down here Right, we've got a little bit of weed has come through on that one, and there's little tiny bits of weed there. As the weed, have we got crop destruction on? I didn't think I had crop destruction. Auto save, crop destruction is on. Let's leave that off. I would prefer crop destruction to be off for this series. Just because, yeah, it's easier to mess with this. This thing is so awesome. So, so awesome. So I'm going to fast forward time a little bit. And hopefully the rain will stop and the sun will come out a little bit. And then we get better view of what we're doing here. I think that would be better for everybody involved. 
we will go also and get let's go to this next tractor i want to get a stone thingy doodah so if i just unhitch that one right there we want a stone picker i'm gonna get the biggest stone picker i know the yellow one um is kind of like quite wide and the yellow ones are cheaper but the other one is actually a better one to use it's got like a five meter pickup on it and um it's altogether better it's easier for turning around in the fields as well trust me on this i've already tested it and let's go over here right Pick a target you go over that way there you go this one is planting his barley. Doing a great job of planting your barley. It's still raining. The forecast is saying cloud, but we're getting it, it's hoofing it down with rain. Why is it raining? It's not supposed to be raining. It says right here it's not raining. Tomorrow is a better day. This is why I want two days per season, because if you've got one day of rain, Chances are the next day isn't going to be hoofing it down with rain all day, which is kind of a good thing. Um, you're going very, very slowly here. I mean, it looks powerful. Pulling that great big machine along behind it, but five miles an hour, that seems to be very slow. The doodah that I want to buy is the stone picker. Which is that doodah right there. This one I've used quite a bit. This one, see, they've got such a small width on them. Just two meters there. Uh, it does nine miles an hour in the field as well. It takes a long time. This one here is just small and cheap. This one at 41,000 is good. It requires 200 horsepower. And it can hold 3,800 liters or... Uh, I think that's it's that one there it can hold six and a half tons of stone so which depending on which setting you've got you go to six and a half tons of stone or 3,800 liters this one over here can hold 3.7 tons of stone or 2,000 liters so it holds a lot less but it's got a 5.5 meter pickup so this one I actually prefer although you've got to empty it more often I do actually prefer this one to the other one. Now, we've got just these uh, different wheel options in here. Uh, BKT, Fredestein, Trellborg. I think we'll go with the Trellborg ones. Buy those. Like that. And are they going to... They're going to hang up on each other now, aren't they? Oh, no, no, no. Managed to get past just whether or not he's going to do the next bit. I don't know. By the way, stone, you don't get very much. You really, really don't get very much money for stone. Now, if they've managed to get past each other without any trouble, I thought they would get hung up on each other there. I really did. I'm impressed with that. That's teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, ladies and gentlemen. So, it's still raining. I don't like that it's still raining. I'm hoping that tomorrow's going to be a better day. So, we'll bring back the other machine tomorrow. We're just going to go and give up for the day. I've set my workers out. And now I've said, look, it's raining. I've got paperwork to do. So, I'm going to go and do my paperwork. They can carry on doing the work in the field. That's the joy of being a farm owner. If you own the farm, you get to call those kinds of shots. You're the one that gets to do that. So there we go. Loan interest, $140. $87 in property maintenance. And it's still raining. But there is a little symbol for a sun there on the side, which does indicate that maybe it's 1 o'clock. But I don't know why this... It's just saying cloud. It's not actually saying rain. So why is it raining when it's saying that it's just cloudy? I hope this isn't a bug that has been introduced into the game somehow, some way. It's going to be a bit disappointing. I don't want bugs in the game. Now, if you go over straight ploughed ground with a stone picker, it leaves a cultivated texture afterwards. So you don't need to plough, then cultivate, and then go over with a stone picker. You can just do the one. Unfortunately, I have already tested it. I did say it was something that I kind of wanted to try and do, which was to 
use a stone picker and um, you know, plow a field, then use a stone picker. And then plow the field again and then use a the stone picker. Unfortunately, you can't do that. It like that well at least you can't with the hired help because I was kind of wanting to do it with the hired help But also I can already tell you that such a thing it would not be profitable Because the amount of money you get for doing your uh, For selling your stone d Would would not meet the amount of money that you spend out on your hired help hired help now actually uses a reasonable amount of money like you actually spend money on your hired help instead of it pretty much just being free labor like it was previously um you know there was such a minimal amount of money that got spent out on hired help it really didn't matter and if you went into negative money you were still able to pay them you cannot do that anymore you can't pay your workers that spader thing just looks so cool and so overpowered and dangerous and vicious everything about it is just excessive seriously everything about this machine just seems to be massively excessive which is why I love it we have encountered a bug ladies and gentlemen it is still raining I don't know what would cause this bug, whether it's one of the mods that we've got, but it's still raining. Possible that it is the uh, Zerian saddle track. I know that one does some strange things to the game, but it should be bright and sunny right now. According to the weather forecast, it is bright and sunny, but I'm still getting a rain texture coming down. Which is very bizarre. Hopefully by the time I come back to this save, that will have been fixed. So I don't know if... I know the Zerian saddle track um, has caused some issues. This could also be down to a bug in the game. It could be down to um, one of Stevie's mods causing a conflict. It could be down to just about anything at this point. My guess though is the most likely culprit is a conflict with the Zerian saddle track. For some strange reason, that seems to have caused all manner of issues and complaints right across the board. So that one could very well be the root cause of this issue. There's another bit with that Zerian saddle track. You've got this right here. Uh, all of these different slurry options, which are brilliant. And then you've got these bits here for the saddle track. Uh, that bit just mounts on the back of the actual vehicle itself, and this one then is trailed. So you've got this huge, great, big, long tanker that is trailed behind on that um, class tractor that we got. This one. It's a huge, great, big tanker. So you've either got the small one, which sits up on the top, or the tanker, which sits on there and then um, pulls along behind. So you've got a huge, great, big vehicle. It's a monster of a vehicle, and it does look really cool, and we will be playing around with it. I'm just hoping that that's not the cause of the fact that it's raining continuously and not stopping, despite the fact that the weather forecast says it's not supposed to be raining at all. What's going on here? Right. Uh, what do I plant over there? You haven't completed anything. It's, I'm just moving this tractor out of the way a minute. I don't think we're going to plant uh, canola or wheat over in that field. We'll probably do a spring crop over there. Uh, this one... Let's turn this round and we'll get going on the last little bit down this side. And then we've got a few passes to do on the end of the field. So we can run this one over here. Start that one up there. With the spader, it says that it will do ploughed ground. The um, subsoilers, they will also um, plough the ground for you. You can use them instead of a plough. They don't create fields. Just remember that. As few people I've seen making comments about that. Uh, not on 
my videos, but I have seen those comments elsewhere um, about the confusion between them. These don't create fields. The only thing you can use to create a new field is an actual plow. There is no other option for creating new fields. So if you want to create a new field, you do have to go and use a plow. But things like this one right here and the subsoilers, you can use these instead of a plow for just plowing up the ground for when you need to remove, uh, when you have this issue right here. See, that's now been plowed up, no longer needs plowing. I'll remove the weed there. So 44 and 46, they both need plowing as well. We can remove those. Apparently, everything needs plowing here. And this is really weird. I, I'll i be honest, I don't like that the entire map needs to be plowed. Uh, it's telling me that the road underneath there needs to be plowed. And I don't like that. So I'm really hoping that that will actually be updated. Because um, that bit I find slightly frustrating. That it's telling me that I need to plow underneath the road just north of the fields right here. Uh, that bit, yeah, not not very happy about that. There's not a lot that we can do about it at the moment, but hopefully that would be something that would be fixed. I'm going to try and submit, because Giants got a new bug um, thing that they do now, and you can go and submit bugs. So I will go and submit bug reports. This rain thing, I'm just going to try and find out if other people have experienced this rain thing. It does seem familiar, so hopefully someone else has as well, and maybe there's already a solution been posted about it. Or it could just be something that we've got to live I don't want it to be raining continuously for the next few weeks until a patch is brought out to fix it. I really, really don't. So I will try removing any mods from the folder, and I'll see what else we can do about it. Um, because otherwise it's going to get really annoying. I don't like the rain. And I don't think you can turn the weather effects off either. Have you got any choice with that one? My steering wheel, by the way, if like if I'm just using my pedal, it's only doing three, four miles an hour. If you increase the, I've, I haven't done it, I've forgotten to do it. If you increase the sensitivity of your pedals, if you're experiencing the same thing, because I quite often I just use cruise control to get me a boost. And then I keep the pedals going as a slightly less sensitive than what the cruise control would be. Um, so I kind of flick between the two. If you're experiencing the same thing, increase the sensitivity of your pedals. Uh, you have to do that from the main menu. You can't alter sensitivity settings from in here. Um, that will solve that problem. So just anyone who is getting a bit frustrated with the steering wheels... Um, or well, at least with pedals not like seeming to do everything that you want them to do. That's basically what's going on with it. The reason I haven't, the reason I don't change. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.